Top ways to respond to her request for money. Do you want to assist? Then go on and help her. But if not, for reasons best known to you, then keep watching this video. I've got you covered today. Welcome back, my name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Today's video is sponsored by Passion Air, a Ghanaian airline that operates domestically within Ghana and takes you from one Ghanaian city to the next. Go to flypassionair.com, book your ticket today and you'll have no disappointments. Thank me later. I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. So this video seeks to answer two questions. One, why your woman asks you for money and two, top ways to respond to her requests for money. Let's jump into it. So why does she feel it's okay to do so? Simple answer is because you've allowed it. People who engage in enabling behaviors aren't the bad guy, but their actions have the potential to promote and support unhealthy behaviors and patterns in other people. Now, in many cases, enabling begins as an effort to support a loved one who may maybe be having a bad or hard time. Now, the term enabler refers to someone who persistently behaves in enabling ways, justifying or indirectly supporting someone else's potentially harmful behavior. This behavior includes, and strictly for the purposes of this conversation, manipulation tactics and can be common in codependent relationships. Now, remember, I've said in several videos that a codependent relationship is a kind of dysfunctional relationship where one person is something like a caretaker and the other person kind of takes advantage of them. Now, to give an everyday example here, maybe let's say you've been paying everything since you met this girl, paying for everything. And while you may not mind, you may be setting an unhealthy precedent. Paying for her items once in a while is okay, but if you decide to do it all the time, you might end up putting yourself in a tight corner. Giving your girl money is not wrong, but there must be some kind of a limit because, well, you're not a wallet. So what are the top ways to respond to her requests for money? Learning how to say no, especially to the ones you love, is of course not very easy. This particularly becomes true when it comes to money. Unfortunately, lately, it seems like everybody's going through a tough time. The world has gone crazy. Everybody needs money. And in that regard, the requests just keep pouring in. That being said, you can't give money to everybody. And for the sake of your relationship, it's usually maybe the best not to. After all, you wouldn't want an unpaid loan, creating an awkward situation or a rift. However, refusing to give someone funds in itself can create an awkward situation, which is why you should probably tread cautiously or lightly when doing so. So in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you six ways to politely say no when you're asked for money. So rule number one is to make it your rule. Now, one of the easiest ways to say no is by simply creating a rule for yourself. Tell yourself that your policy from here on out is that you don't lend money to certain kinds of people. And really, you determine which kinds of people they will be. Your girlfriend, regular friends, family, you name it. It's a quick and easy way to handle the situation without leaving yourself feeling guilty. It's easier to tell everyone no than to give to some people and not others. Moreover, by communicating this to your loved ones, they'll understand that it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with them or their character, but it's just merely something you don't do, okay? Number two, respond promptly. Now, having difficult conversations like refusing to give someone money is tough, it's never fun. Many of us take our sweet time trying to work up the courage to just say no in the first place. Now, as hard as it may be to say no to begin with, you don't make things any easier by waiting. Now, one of the best things you can do in these situations is respond promptly to the inquirer. You'll come off politer in the situation by simply being considerate enough to answer the request in a timely manner. That being said, maybe you can give yourself at least 24 hours to think over the request so that you don't come across as, you know, not having thought about it at all. Number three, be clear to the point and be polite. Now, beating around the bush only serves to confuse the parties involved and can lead you to giving when your intention was actually to say no. Okay, so be firm, be polite, 
and concise. Don't give her any room to argue about it with you in the first place. Simply say that you're unable to give at this time, that it's not feasible for you, or that maybe you're simply uncomfortable doing so right now. Don't give a long drawn out explanation or ramble on. Simply state your answer and move on. Again, you'll get your point across, save yourself and the other party from any confusion. Don't be afraid to say no when people ask you for money. I mean, you don't have to feel guilty. It's your money, you worked hard for it, and you don't owe anybody any allegiances. Number four, be aware of what you can give. Now, if you receive requests on a regular basis and hate saying no, a good rule of thumb could be to create a special giving fund. Set aside a certain amount in your budget that you're willing to give to you know, people or to her. After that amount is used up, you can simply explain that your allotted giving amount has been used up. By opting to go this route, you can diplomatically decide if you have any more funds that you want to give out, depending on the circumstance. That way, everybody knows, look, I save a thousand CDs to give out to my girlfriend every month. It's used up. I have nothing more to give at this point. Sorry, I can't help you beyond this point. She should understand if she's a caring girlfriend. Number five, offer to help in other ways. So in most cases, money isn't the only way that you can help her out. There are alternative ways to help depending on her situation and what's going on. Now, whether that be offering financial advice, assisting her with her budget, offering your time, providing simple services like maybe meals, picking her up to and from work, that kind of thing. There's like an array of ways to assist her in any situation. Moreover, sometimes just being there emotionally for her in itself can be tremendous help. Whatever you choose, simply respond by saying that you're unable to help her financially by physically doling out cash, but you'll love to know if there are other ways that you can be of assistance, right? And finally, be wary of discussing financial details. And this puts more than many guys in a rut. Now, it can be difficult to turn your woman down if she knows and she's aware of your financial situation. If she feels or knows that you're well off, it can lead to feeling pressured or guilty for not wanting to give her the money that she's asking for. Your best practice is to avoid sharing too much information about your finances. I know you may feel the urge to make, to want to make her know that you can take care of her as her man and stuff like that, but be guided and be guarded in your utterances. No one needs to know how much you make, how much you've saved or what you spend on certain things. Keep those details to yourself so you don't give a loved one the impression that, you know, basically a loan from you is given, it's guaranteed. Being asked for money is simply an awkward situation. There's no way around it. Being forced to say no, however, can feel even worse. Nonetheless, just save yourself and the important relationships in your life by not being afraid to say no. Be polite, be firm. Don't allow yourself to feel guilty for having to let someone down. Trust me, it'll save your relationship you'll be happier in the long run. There are horror stories about how money and lending out money and unpaid money has ruined many a relationship. And you don't wanna find yourself in you know, such a situation. Hopefully these pointers you know, help you to manage that relationship between you and your girlfriend, especially if it's become a thing where she is coming to you constantly and you become her so-called cash cow let her understand that you have your own goals and aspirations and you're happy to help when you can. But this thing where she seems to want to keep her money for herself and turn you into her little bank account um, is a non-starter, you know, especially if she has plans on seeing both of you rise together and build a future together. It should be something that both of you um, um, discuss there should be some kind of an arrangement on how you spend your money, you know. And it shouldn't be always one-sided where you're the only one dipping into your kitty. I'm just saying, if you found this video helpful, share it with somebody else. And uh, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.